Um, can you just, you know, first introduce, you know, us to you mm -hmm. and your background as a photographer? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, I was actually born in Venez born and raised in Venezuela, and then um, when I was 18 years old, I moved to Shanghai, and I started um, studying Bachelor of Arts in, in New York University, Shanghai, which opened their campus, and um, I started with photography from year one, from day one. Um, I got into photography thanks to my sister, who is a, a photojournalist for CNN and um, she kind of taught me her ways when I was younger and I'm more of a street photographer I would say whereas she's more of a like documentary photographer and I just I just started look like I started to love going out on the street at night and during the day just to like calm my mind and just have like, me and my camera and like uh, capture moments and just have fun, have fun with it, really. So, how, so you use photography as a sense of escapism. Yeah. Um, so, how did that develop into? You said you worked with uh, the Shanghai Fashion Week. So, how did that? How did you develop your uh, hobby into a profession, so to speak? Yeah. So that's uh, that's been that's been kind of hard for me because um, for me it just really started as a, as a passion, as more of like art artistic form, and um, slowly like um, I've had friends come up to me and tell me like, man, like. Like, in, like you gotta charge w for what you're good at, you know, you gotta like actually like um, try to make some money out of this and I, they kind of like, I had a good conversation with my, with my older friends and, and I kind of started pushing for, for um, more like commercial works and um, it's been, it's been good but like I, the way I, the, I enjoy photography really as just an art form. Um, commercially I do it because we all gotta pay rent. But yeah, for me, photography is just a form of art. Our, all artists in this in this world, and in Shanghai, we have to find a way of of making some money apart from doing our art. So I think that's kind of like balancing that out is important. It's a part of like growing up as well. So how is the art community here in Shanghai? Um, yeah, I think it's um, very inviting and very kind of open. I think people here are are very willing to 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 open their doors to you and like offer opportunities if, if they if they think that is like something that you 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 would be good at or um i actually um just arrived here three months ago and i i through connect and that's the thing like there's so many expats that everybody's like connecting and everybody kind of like there's a there's a nice community going on here and there's a lot of um good connections you can make even having a drink at a bar or whatever so it's a good place to be to to connect with this art, artistic world and this WeChat really is is, a, is technology is helping us a lot with this because WeChat these groups and these like conversations every day and like people are talking about art or like I need this I need that so like it's a good it's a good way to like just find like jobs and 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 be in contact with all these people in the same world as you. So we're both from New York, and you know, back in the States, back in New York, uh, artists can fall into this like uh, this solo pattern where they feel the need to do everything by themselves. But here in Shanghai or in China, it's all about connections. So for someone uh, coming to Shanghai or to China, first off, how important is connections? And is it easy or is it difficult to build connections here in Shanghai? Um, well, yeah, I, I, I would say, well, Guanxi is that big word here in China, the connection. Um, in New York, I think it's a little bit harder because there's fierce, fierce competition. And like, um, whereas here in Shanghai, it's more of like kind of like a new, like a, a whole new thing here. And it's it's starting to grow. It's been growing for, 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 for a good amount of years, but um, it's, People here are, everybody's away from home here. So everybody's more, I think, open and more like willing to help and willing to create a community where everybody feels comfortable. Whereas in New York, I feel more people are established or more people are from the state. So they, they feel more confident and a little bit more like closed, closed up than here in Shanghai. I think here in Shanghai, it's much more open, open community for the arts. Well, if, if you guys want to find me um, on Instagram, it's at livingnowmedia, and yeah, I post all type of stuff there, photography, some um, video work, some music videos, some motion graphics, animations, 3D, um, a lot of cool stuff.